Hey everyone, Kennedy here, back with you for Thursday night of our virtual homecoming week. I don't know about y'all, but I'm having a great time seeing everything Tulane has to offer. Hey, it's Prashant. Speaking of everything Tulane has to offer, tonight's the tipping point. I can't believe our school is able to put on a concert featuring PJ Morton, Tank from Tank and the Bangas, Ivan Neville, and more. It's incredible. I agree. I know I'll be watching the concert when it kicks off in a few minutes. If you are too, don't forget to check out Be In The Wave on the fans.live website. It's a great way to show off your dance moves during the concert. There will also be an option to text to give throughout the concert. Remember, the Tipping Point is a fundraising concert for Tulane. That's right. The concert raises money for student scholarship support, which we need now more than ever. It's so important to give every student the opportunity to get an education from a university just like Tulane. And scholarships do just that. All right, all right. We've gotten through all the details. Let's start the show. Tulane, my beloved New Orleans community, and everybody else watching around the world and around the country. I have finally made it to the Tipping Point concert, benefiting Tulane University and its continued mission to attract and support the next generation of promising young leaders. And you can support that mission tonight by texting Tulane to 833-660-0015. This year, to be honest, it was a little easier to get here. I don't even have to leave my own house. And I always take a little bit of New Orleans with me. Usually, the Tipping Point concert brings in artists from around the country. Past year performers have included Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top, Ziggy Marley, Annie DeFranco, Mavis Staples, and so many other notable artists. But tonight, due to these insane times we're living in, we decided to go full New Orleans and full New Orleans style and bring in some of the best local talent our city has to offer. With that said, tonight I have the honor to introduce one of the finest New Orleans performers who is part of the greatest and most legendary New Orleans music family. This young man has worked with Keith Richards, The Meters, Bonnie Raitt, The Rolling Stones, blah, 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 on and on. He also leads his own New Orleans band, Dumps the Fun. Please welcome my good friend and a New Orleans hero, Mr. Ivan Neville.
That's Ivan Neville on the keys. Yes, indeed. And vocals. Tony Hall on the bass and vocals right there. Right about now, we'd like to feature my good friend, Mr. Nigel Hall on the vocals, everybody. Woo! Come on. One, two, three, four! a few of us, we're going to treat it like it's Congo Square at the end of Jazz Fest, ladies and gentlemen. We got all the right ingredients that we need, Lord. And we're going to work with what we got to get what we want. Hello. I know I'm preaching today. Come on. Hey, hey, hey.
keep it right there, keep it right there. Don't, don't move. I'm black. Kiki Phillips on the vocals, everybody. I 
hell to my lips now, babe. Yeah, yeah. Reveal the tears that was on my face, yeah. Miss Erica Falls, everybody. How y'all feeling out there in Never Never Land? We get to do some music tonight. I'm excited about that. Let's go, y'all.
such a great honor to welcome this day the president of Tulane University, Mr. Mike Fitz. Good evening, Tulaneans, and happy Wave Week. Welcome to Tipping Point 2020, coming at you from the beautiful Fillmore, New Orleans. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in, not just for tonight's spectacular program, but for all that you've done to reconnect over a one-of-a-kind Wave Week. We wanted nothing more than to bring the Tulane family together in person. But as you can see from my virtual background, we had to do what Tulaneans do best. We had to get creative. Now, the original Fillmore in San Francisco was the brainchild of Bill Graham, who promoted some of America's most iconic bands, the Grateful Dead, Santana, even the late great New Orleanian, Dr. John. Graham envisioned a venue at the epicenter of American music, a place where people from different backgrounds could come together to collaborate on one of our country's greatest exports. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Tulane is a family of innovators, creatives, and collaborators, minus the drama that came with the 60s and 70s music scene. And Tulaneans are at their best when we are together, on ground, in New Orleans, or virtually here tonight. I know I'm eager to get the party going, but I want to thank those who helped put this incredible evening together. That's our headlining sponsors from the Steel Partners Foundation, our opening act sponsors from the Altman Family Foundation, and our house band sponsors, including Alec Chang, Sue Robert and the Goldstein family, Ann Tenenbaum and Tom Lee, and Diana and Mark Tipton. Finally, I can't thank the Upper West Music Group enough for helping us reimagine Tipping Point 2020 and for putting together tonight's extraordinary lineup. Thank you all so much for your generosity. We couldn't make this show happen without you. But something doesn't feel quite right. This isn't a faculty meeting or convocation. This is Tipping Point 2020, and I'm overdressed. And after six years in New Orleans, I know better than to show up to a party without wardrobe options. Now, this is more like it. So how about a roll wave on three? Ready? One, two, three. Roll away! Now, please welcome an ardent Tulane supporter and music director from the Conan O'Brien Show, Jimmy Vivino. We are in New Orleans, right? So, once y'all get up off your couch, clap your hands, stomp your feet. You ready?
song that uh, Rick Danko, an old friend of mine, sang with the band, the band, called it Make No Difference. All right, you ready?
lead guitar. And we'd also, as one music director to another, I'd like to uh, say Eric Krasnow did a hell of a job, as he does every year, of putting this thing together with all these fabulous musicians. And uh, even though I'm from the, the other L.A., it's great to be in the original L.A. Thank you. Jimmy, v Jimmy Vino, everybody. Vocals and guitar, and that's Chris Royal back right there on saxophone. Herb alone. <laughs> wow, Jimmy Vivino, that was awesome. Jimmy V, I can just hear how much you love New Orleans. And you know, New Orleans has always held a real special place in my heart too. You guys, it's the warmest, best place on earth. It's got a heartbeat, it's got a soul. And it's a city that if you love it, it loves you right back. And right in the heart of New Orleans is Tulane University. A few years ago, I was real lucky. I got to deliver the commencement address to the class of 2016, and I received the President's Medal from Mike Fitz. It was one of those unbelievable experiences. But the stars that shone the brightest on that night were the amazing students who give back to this community every day. You find out real quickly that Tulane is as much a part of New Orleans as New Orleans is a part of Tulane. So text Tulane to 833 Six six zero 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 one five to give back to both. And now it is such an honor to introduce John Cleary. This guy lives and breathes the musical culture and life of New Orleans, from Tipitinas to the Maple Leaf to the Jazz Festival. John has played along such greats as Bonnie Raitt, Taj Mahal, B.B. King, and Snooks Eaglin. Tonight, in John's first song, he will honor the great. Dr. John with one of his most classic songs, Such a Night. John, take it away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank you both for coming out tonight. This tune is one that was written by um, someone I used to play with, admired a great deal. From right here in New Orleans, out in the big world, they called him Dr. John. Here in New Orleans, everyone called him Mac. And I want to send this one out to Purdy and Toichi and Tilly and Sweet Dolly Daydream. And this one is called Such a Night. Is everybody ready? Such a night. Such a night. Sweet confusion under the moonlight. Such a night, such a night to steal away the time feel right. Your eyes meet mine, and at a glance, I knew right away that this was my chance. My best friend Jim And here I am I'm trying to steal you away from real Yeah, but if I don't do it You know somebody else will If I don't do it You know somebody else will
Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. John, clear. Let's get some more duct tape on this thing. All right, man, we're going to play a little funk thing for y'all now, which really is a, uh, a little uh, paying of respects to all the great musicians here in New Orleans that came before us, characters that I'm sure a lot of us on the bandstand came up playing behind, like Jesse Hill and Bo Dallas and Ernie Cato, Aunt Neville, Eddie Bo. Johnny Adams, all the old cats. Anyway, this is a little thing go. What we got's more hipper than what you got. They're bragging on New Orleans right here. Praise the Lord.
you all so much. John Cleary. John Cleary, ladies and gentlemen. John Cleary, a legend in his own time. Thank you, John Cleary. Man, that was outstanding. I'm Walter Isaacson, and I have the great fortune and wonderful pleasure of being a professor at Tulane, which means that I've got a class of wonderful students, intellectually curious, respectful, open-minded, just what you want in students in this day and age. I also am a native New Orleanian, which means that I love music, especially the funky sounds that come from our neighborhoods. And that's why I so much enjoy this annual Tipping Point concert. I mean, like where else in America would you have a university that could have a concert like this filled with musicians that, that connect to the soul of our city uh, the way this Tipping Point does? I wanna tell you about some of the amazing other things that are happening at Tulane. First of all, and perhaps foremost, we have the most academically talented, distinguished, and diverse incoming freshman class of students. Secondly, Tulane's got a medical school, a school of public health, and a dedication to service in the community, which means that it's been in the forefront nationally and globally in the fight against COVID. It's found new ways to study the epidemic. It's done testing for our community and it's a leader in biotech innovation. In addition, there are new spaces being built, whether for our downtown campus, like the Charity Hospital Complex where Tulane is taking the lead or the Paul Hall Science and Engineering Complex, which will grace our uptown campus and make us more of a powerhouse in science and engineering. And President Fitz has announced steps to promote a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive Tulane. I know that one of the joys I have of being part of the Tulane community and being part of New Orleans is that I get to support Tulane. It means a lot to be able to pay it forward to the next generation and to do things that will protect and preserve our wonderful university and our beloved city. So join me in doing that. If you want to donate to Tulane, text Tulane right now to 833-660-0015. That's text Tulane to 833-660-0015. Man, I look forward to seeing you next year, hopefully in person. But now here's a guy I've loved since I first saw him play at Tipitina's. Please welcome the multi-talented David Shaw. How's everybody doing out there on your couch? You love seats nestled in real tight. Maybe you got your screen in your hand. Maybe you got some popcorn, I don't know. We're going to send this one out to uh, Mr. James O'Rock. He just took the uh, big gig in the sky. So this one's for you, James. It's a little angel from Montgomery.
was a young girl Hand me a cowboy He warmed us to look at Just a free rambling man Oh, but that was a long time And no matter how I try The years just flow And I can hear them buzzing And I ain't done nothing Since I woke up today How the hell can a person Go to work in the morning Come home in the evening And have nothing We're gonna do a song. It was just released about a week ago called Promised Land. It's actually the first time I'll be playing it live, so here we go. you don't see coming They can't hear me if I don't stop running running, running, running We are what they are We do what they don't I'm 
Y'all. I just want to thank the band. You guys are killing it. Girls and girls, too. Amazing. Thank y'all. All right. Right about now, I'd like to welcome to the stage an incredible musician, a good friend, Mr. Marcus King. Ow! All right. How's everybody doing there at home? It's good to be here. Thank you to Upper West for having me here. How about it for Mr. Eric Krasno, Mr. Jimmy Vivino. Right, it's a song called Wildflowers and Wine. One, two. Wildflowers and wine. Oh, scratchy record in the background of our lives. We're still here dancing at all this time. Wildflowers and wine. Walk through fields of evergreen with a coldness sun like I've never seen. I pick them one, one at a time, wild flowers and wild. Oh, 
Send that out one out. Send that one out to my lady. It's another one for all the ladies in the house. Bye. 
Brother Marcus King, ladies and gentlemen. Brother Marcus King, legend in his own time. Thank you very much. How about it for the band one time? Make it feel good. Right about now, we'd like to welcome Tank to the stage to help us with this next song. One of her original songs. Next up, 
is a wonderful guy who released his first major debut album in 2013. And it was titled, appropriately enough, New Orleans. Uh, he's also helping to restore the home of Buddy Bolden, making it a museum and community space that will honor that amazing cornetist that more than anybody helped create jazz. So please welcome the Grammy award-winning solo artist, PJ Morton. What's up? What's up, people? Good to be with y'all. Uh, we're gonna do one right here that you are familiar with. A few years ago, I recorded it and uh, added, added my own little flavor to it. Uh, we were able to win a Grammy Award for this one right here. Um, one of my favorite songs by the Bee Gees. Here we go. Two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know your eyes in the morning sun. I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moments that you wander far from me I want to feel you in my arms again And you come to me on a summer breeze Keep me love deep inside than you saw lately And it's me you need to show How deep is your love? Is your love dark it looks right now we, we, we're living through a crazy time but I hope you believe like I believe that everything's gonna be all right
would never change their minds. But everything's gonna be alright. Yes, sir. But either way, we're gonna be just fun. Everything's gonna be alright. Yeah. Even when you try to bring me down, everything's gonna be alright. Yeah. I said I'm still here. Let me adjust my crown. Everything. Oh yeah, be all right. Everything's gonna be alright.
I want to thank you all for joining us, whether you're in your room or looking at your phone or looking at your computer. We love you all so much. I want to thank everybody that put this together. Thank Tulane University and thank Greg Williamson, Nicole Rector, all the amazing artists, the amazing musicians that have been on stage. Thank you all so much. Did you guys have fun tonight? Thank you for creating the tipping point and tipping us off for Tulane. Thank you, Dr. Pitts. Thank you, everybody.